right so stand here and in this video i'm going to show you how to do electrolysis on water to get useful gases like for example your hydrogen and oxygen gas right here h2 and o2 so what do you need simple firstly you will need this bicarbonate of soda sodium hydrogen carbonate two test tubes and this one is the setup right here that i put my test tubes in and to contain all the water you may also need an electrode and i just went with a pencil graphite which is basically an allotrope of carbon as always all experiments you may need to use a safety goggle to protect your eyes first question in mind how to get the graphite out of the pencil it can conduct electricity because graphite has free electrons graphite is soft and slippery we can just basically get this thing out to poke two holes underneath the container, we can actually use a soaring iron. 180, which is the minimum I can go to, pretty well. But be careful, do not put your hands too close to a soaring iron. I'm gonna use my hot glue and actually hot glue the two graphite. Okay, so once the first graphite is stuck onto there, we can now use the second graphite. Right, so once that's done, you can see that we have our two electrodes sticking out. So once that's the positive is connected, I can now connect the negative wire. Now it would have to add the last cloth spinner to the negative wire. And now I'm gonna twist this thing to the other side. Alright, so once the cloth spinner had been fit snugly, and now we have to get some water. I just get that water from here, you can just fill this thing up. Alright, so with my beaker half filled with water, I can use a pipette to pipette the water from the 1.2 liter beaker and fill it up to the brim of the two test tubes that are used to collect the two gases. So the gases will displace the water and hence displacement of water gas collection method. Now what you have to do is to cover the mouth of the test tube with your index finger and invert the test tube, place it inside the water with the mouth fully submerged into the water before you let go of the index finger. Once that's done, you can see that the water is trapped in the test tube. Alright, so once the two mouths of the test tubes have been fully submerged under the water, what do I have to do now is to apply a 12 volt DC power source. The wire of the knot is connected to the positive and the wire without the knot is connected to the, the negative. Alright, so once the power supply is flipped on, I can see that, or rather, we can see that there's barely any bubbles forming and this is due to the fact that water is a very poor conductor of electricity. Don't fret, that doesn't mean that we have conducted the experiment wrongly. The solution to this is just to simply add your common household baking soda. Here it is, the baking soda. So for every 3 grams of the baking soda, we need to use around 100 milliliters of water. And we are going to stir it using a steering rod, sodium cations and bicarbonate anions. And this allows the water to become electrically conductive and you can see that the light layer underneath the graphite electrode is basically the bubbles forming as you can see if you look if you look carefully you can see the very very tiny bubbles started to float up to the top of the test tube and occupying the airspace so basically as this continues on the volume of the water in the test tube will slowly decrease and that's the volume of the gas collector. And now let's take it out. For the lighter split, I'm just gonna use this barbecue stick right here. It's just a wooden stick. Okay. Oh my gosh! So the hydrogen gas reacts with the oxygen gas in the air. It's an exothermic reaction to produce your drinking water. But of course the water is water vapor here so there's no way to collect this thing. So for the lighted spring, what we have to do is to pour some water onto this thing using our hand to melt the 
So once the fire is being extinguished, you can cut the stick. So here it is. You can throw the rest of the piece into it and it's gonna wash this test tube. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.